this part of the series, we will take up job holding and supporting devices, that is, turning between centers, steady wrists, and faceplate. Between centers, Before the workpiece can be mounted between centers, it has to be held in a three-jaw self-centering chuck, the two ends faced and center drilled. The equipment required to hold a workpiece for turning between centers consists of a driving plate fixed onto the spindle nose, a live center fixed inside the spindle nose. It is called live center because it revolves with the spindle. A dead center fixed into the tailstock spindle. It is called dead center because it does not revolve. A dog carrier. It is fixed onto one end of the workpiece. It drives the workpiece by engaging itself with the driving plate. It must be ensured visually or with dial indicator that the live center runs true. Dead center and live center should be aligned to have a common center line. How to align the centers? First method. By moving the dead center tip close to the live center to confirm whether the tips meet or not. Check with the razor blade. Second method, by taking light cuts near the two ends of the job. After the cuts have been taken, clean and measure with a micrometer. If there is no difference, the centers are aligned. Here, the diameters at the two ends are same. So, the centers are aligned. Third method. Hold a test bar between centers 
and check with the dial indicator. Reading should be same at the two ends. If not, readjust the tailstock. How to adjust the pressure between centers? Clean the center holes thoroughly. Lubricate for the dead center. Adjust the pressure so that workpiece moves freely without being loose. Readjust after working for some time. Advantages of turning between centers. The workpiece is well supported at the two ends. Repeated change of setups does not disturb the true running of the workpiece. The center holes can be utilized for further operations on the workpiece. Steady rest, fixed type. A fixed type steady rest is clamped to the guideways of the lathe bed. It is used to support long shafts of small diameter while turning them. Steady rest prevents the job from springing away from the cutting tool since it supports the work more rigidly. Steady rest, follower type. A follower type steady rest is a work supporting device bolted to the saddle. It follows the cutting tool. The adjustable jaws bear directly on the finished diameter of the workpiece behind the cutting tool. The jaws prevent the workpiece from springing away from the cutting tool. Face plate. It is similar to a driving plate except that it is larger in shape and size. It contains more slots or T-slots so that bolts or T-bolts may be used to clamp the workpiece to the face of the plate. Many types of work which cannot be held in chucks may be machined conveniently and precisely when mounted on a face plate. Setting up work on a faceplate. Place the faceplate on the workbench with its face up. Set the workpiece on the plate over parallel packings.
arrange the bolts and nuts in the slots for suitable clamping. Center the workpiece to the best of your judgment and tighten the clamping nuts just enough to hold the workpiece in place. Mount the face plate on the spindle. Screw up the workpiece and tighten all clamping nuts. The steady wrist is now ready for use. And with this, we come to the end of this part of the series.